with the Surf Paparazzi out in full force, the 2015 Surfer Pole Awards hosted the annual Gala of Surfing, honoring the top men and women surfers in the world, as well as videos and performances voted by the readers of Surfer Magazine. With a host of awards on the program, one of the most exciting is Best Barrel, this year taken out by none other than the middle Florence brother, Nathan. Nathan Flores, talk about your barrel in Tahiti. Uh, it was just one of the better ways of my life, and I'm just super lucky to have gotten it. It was super good for paddling that swell, and we all were just uh, pushing the levels everywhere we caught, so. I was there, actually, I stood up on the jet ski and watched somebody go. I was like, somebody's paddled into a tow wave, and they just came flying out. I'm super proud of Nathan, you know, it's definitely super sick, and I'm super stoked he got it. Uh, He's lucky I wasn't there. Keeping it in the family, John Florence and his much anticipated movie, View from a Blue Moon, to no surprise, took out Movie of the Year Award. We've kind of always grown up with taking pictures and filming and stuff. We kind of gathered the big idea to do this big movie, and it came out, and people seemed to like it. I'm super happy with the final outcome. Uh, to be honest, I've seen it all so much that in the end, I was like, I cannot watch any of this anymore. But to finish it, it was amazing. Like, my favorite part about making the whole thing, though, was getting to go to these places and work with all this amazing camera gear. So I kind of accomplished what I wanted to accomplish before the movie was even done. The Best Maneuver Award tends to showcase the top aerialist in the game. The lowdown on airs and maneuvers, do you think it's better to go high or to have better technicality? Um, I think higher. I, I like John John, so he goes the highest and uh, I think that's the coolest for sure. Some of the other stuff the other guys are doing is incredible. It's pretty different being 6'3", 210 pounds, you know, most of the other guys met me, all the other guys are like 5'8", you know, a buck 60. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In the end, it was John Florence once again, taking it high above the lip with a massive alley-oop featured in his new movie. The worst wipeout isn't necessarily an award you want to win, but Niccolo Porcella took it in stride with his horrifying Chopo disaster. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty heavy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's part of the deal when you want to charge and you want to catch some big waves and uh, you want to get barrels, sometimes uh, you're going to have to fall. Yeah, the most important thing is uh, to get back out and, uh, and charge and live your dreams, you know? For the top woman surfer, with a standout year including a third world title, Hawaii's own Carissa Moore was the obvious vote. You guys, seriously, I thought there was no way I won the surfer pool. This is so cool. Thank you guys so much. So many people to thank for this incredible year. I want to thank my sister. You know, I don't get to thank her enough for her positivity. Um, she's really helped me this year just to keep that good mind frame. And I want to thank my dad and my boyfriend. And, and I love the surfing community. Thank you so much. Topping it off and finishing out the night with yet another award, John Florence cleaned house with a top male vote, taking out Kelly Slater once again and proving his spot as the world's most popular surfer. I'm actually really stoked Kelly's not here because last year he gave me um, a big talk about my speech. He said it wasn't good enough. Really stoked to win this again, especially over Kelly. <laughs> you know, again, I can't thank my family and my mom, my friends, and my sponsors enough. And, you know, Surfer for putting on these awards and everyone watch out for each other, stay safe this winter and thank you so much.